Good afternoon guys, today we're talking about my tattoo experience. Now, I got my very first tattoo about two and a bit weeks ago and I got a wolf's face on my leg. Um, the idea behind it is because I have a much more personal tattoo that I want, but I wanted to A, make sure the tattooist I was going to would meet my expectations and B, make sure I'd be able to actually cope with getting a tattoo. Um, yeah. Hence why I've gone for one that I still like, I still enjoy, I've got a wolf's face because, you know, it's my favourite favorite animal, it's something that is moving for, it's not just a pointless tattoo. Now, say it was my very first tattoo, I've got it on the top of my right leg, and it took about five and a half hours of almost constant tattooing, apart from a 20 minute break, where he got food and I got food. Now, the pain itself was... I think it was reasonable, it wasn't over the top. I've heard that the top of the leg is a very good place to have a tattoo. Um, if it, hurt, it hurts a lot more, for example, on your foot. It hurts a lot more than the top of the leg. Obviously, I can't speak for myself, but not. I just know the top of the leg, it does sting. I'm not gonna lie, it stings. But it's it's capable of being done, you can put up with it. And I managed to put up with five and a half hours, so. You know, the biggest part of the getting tattoo is the aftercare. That is questionably just equally as important as actually sitting steady while he's tattooing is doing the aftercare. Um, tattooists tell you to do different things. My tattooist didn't bother with the cling film wrap around the legs. He said, "Go home, wash it off when you go home, and then just let air dry. And then after a few days, so like three, four days." and start putting something on it to help it keep its moisture and stop it from drying out and scabbing up. For that, a lot of people, and what I tried was Anthem. It is a naparash cream, or naparash ointment. Uh, put a bit on, you smother it over your tattoo, and it, you know, it protects it and hydrates your skin. And it is one of the best things for tattoo. However, for me, it was far too sticky. Being an ointment, it takes forever to dry up. I hated the feeling of having clothes on top of it while it was still wet and sticky from it. So for me I tried and tried something else. I looked on the internet and I looked on the internet and I got Palmer's cocoa butter cream. It is just a very good hydrating cream. It, it's a cream not an ointment so it dries Five minutes if that is rubbing, keep on rubbing it and it goes to the it just goes in nicely. Very very good for drying, it's a very good moisturising cream and on top of it smells nice so can't really complain. I've got a fairly big size tattoo and I've only got a very small bottle. This is a 60 gram tube. I'm giving it a 60 gram or 2.1 ounces. And I've used about half, if that, and that's on top of, that was only on top of a couple of days I used my plan for moment. When I got home, I will put a picture up somewhere there of my tattoo, what it looked like when I just got home. You can tell it's very red, very, still a bit of blood on it, etc. That's as soon as I got home. Like I said, there was no clean film on it. When I just got home, I took that picture. And then, like an hour later, I got a shower and just washed it off and just dabbed it dry with a the with the towel. Um, I did that for the first couple of days, just a daily shower normal. And just dabbed it dry, didn't put any soap over it for the first couple of days, just because your know, skin is very, very sensitive. And the ink is very close to the surface still. Um, and a lot of people say to treat it like an open wound. And if you do that, you're not going to put soap in there, because you don't put soaps on open wounds. But after a while, you start to feel the scabbing more, and you get like a white, a white, like a white see-through scabby bit over the top. Like, you still see tattoo, but you can also tell like a white bit of skin, so um, that's when it's starting to dry out, when it's scabbing over. And that's when you start putting on cream such as that, or you plant them with and just cover the entire thing. Just cover it up. I do it, I did it twice a day. 
I think you can just do it daily. Um, I just did it in the morning when I woke up and did it at night before I went to sleep. Just then, it was always moisturised and did it on the public. And yeah, that's what I did for that. The worst bit is the itching. It's extremely important that you don't itch. Um, so because as, as you're itching, it's because it's scabbing over. And as you itch, you might pick off a bit of the scab. And in doing so, you might dance the tattoo, you might take out a bit of the ink. And once it's fully healed, you might have little, little patches in your tattoo, which obviously you don't want. For me, it took about two weeks for my tattoo to heal. Um, I guess that might differ from what tattoo you get, but some parts of it I think healed sooner than others, but like the big deep parts, they're just about fully done and it's two weeks and three days since I had it done. So it's not really that long. Um, I haven't put any of that on for the past four days. So after about two weeks I've stopped using that. Um, absolutely fine. It just feels like normal skin now. Um, you, can't, you can't tell it's scabbing apart from on his nose, which I'll sh you've seen the picture, but I'll show him again soon. Apart from those, we can kind of kind of tell it's right at the edges, um, but ultimately you can't tell any difference. Obviously, seen that picture of what it looked before. That was the day I got back. Is what it looks like now. I can't really tell if I'm doing a good shot or not. That's what it looks like now. That's what it looks like now. If I haven't got a good shot, I'll put up a picture up somewhere and I'll compare the two. Um, but yeah, that's that now. That was my first experience. A um, couple of tips, like I said, it is very painful. Um, if, it's going, if you're going for your first tattoo, get in a place that's known for being less painful, um, like the top of your legs. Um, or even if like, your arms are alright, like places like your rib cage and your feet, etc., are, are very well known for being painful. I didn't try any lemon cream or any lemon ointment or anything. The tattooist offered me it towards the end. Um, I didn't. I didn't take it on it. I was fine. I'd put up with it, got the man out, and put up with it, but. Obviously that's an option, it might work for you, I've heard it doesn't really work that much, especially if he's already been tattooing for a good couple of hours, putting on another ointment apparently not really not doing much because his skin's already very, very sensitive, and you know, at the end of the day it's a little cheap numbing cream that is going to get punctured by a needle hundreds and hundreds of times, it's just not going to pop out, but it might do, I don't know. That's my opinion. Uh, another tip, um, obviously, I said not to itch at all if you can. Um, if you can help it, don't itch. A good way of getting over that itchiness is just to like give a flat hand slap to it. It just helps. It helps ease the itchiness, but it doesn't damage any of your skin. You're not you're not tearing off your scabby bits, etc. Um, you're still allowing the skin to heal. Uh, just a little couple of slaps around it, or even itch around the tattoo. Make sure you do go around the tattoo. Um, sometimes you can just pull your body into almost feel like you're chewing a bit, that's very itchy. So, the most important tip is to find a tattoo artist that you trust. Either your friends have gone to him, who is very well known in the area, whatever, just go to someone that you trust. Don't go to someone that's cheap. I would do a five and a bit hour tattoo and it's been doing times. It's not cheap, but it's worth it. I think it's done a good job, and I could have gone somewhere else cheaper, but I didn't just because I trusted the guy, uh, and I will be going back to him for my future pieces, like the more important tattoo that I want to get eventually in a couple of months. With everything being said, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like and comment away and follow me on all my social media all links down below and i'll catch you guys again soon bye